In this video, I'm going to run you through uh, my free plugin for WordPress called Idea Push. I'm just going to activate the plugin, and upon activation, you'll see the new menu item called Idea Push in your WordPress menu. And to get started creating your first board, you just need to go to Settings. Here, um, I can just enter in um, my board name. I'm just call this my test board and click Add. And upon clicking add, you'll see uh, further board settings for the board I just created. I'm just gonna run through those settings now. So I've got the board name that I just created. I've got the vote threshold. So what that means is the amount of votes that are required to graduate an idea from open to reviewed. Um, and you can then change the status after that if you want as well. Hold ideas is whether you want to um, hold ideas when they're first published or whether you want to publish them automatically. I'm going to set that to no for the moment. I can also choose to display comments, tags, attachments, um, the board title, vote target. Um, I'm going to hide the board title for now. I'm going to keep the other ones to yes. Here I can um, enable guest votes and ideas. Um, so this is whether you want to enable non-logged in users to be able to create ideas and votes. Um, I'm going to set that to yes as well. You can choose whether you want to enable down voting. I'm going to set that to yes as well. Here I can set the max votes per day and the max ideas per day. When that's set to minus one, it essentially means infinite, so people can create as many votes and ideas as they want. I can also choose whether I want to hide um, ideas from the WordPress search. I'm going to click no for that. I can also choose whether I want to show the board to a particular user role, WordPress user role um, in particular. I'm just going to set that to everyone for now. And I'm just going to save those settings. Now to actually put the board on a board page, I just need to click the copy shortcode button here. And by clicking that, it's going to copy the shortcode um, to my browser. So I'm just going to go and create a new page now. I'm going to call this um, my test board. I'm just going to paste that shortcode into the page there and click publish. You'll now see that it's created a new board page and I've got my ideas here on the left. Obviously there's none at the moment because there's no ideas that exist. Um, and on the right hand side here, I've got my uh, new idea form where I can create a new idea. So I'm just going to do that right now. So I'm going to call this my test idea. I'm going to put in a description. I can also uh, give my idea a tag. I'm going to call this my test tag. And I can also attach an image uh, for my idea as well. And then I'm going to click push. And now it's going to add that idea to my board. You can now see the idea. And you see that it's got the attachment that I uploaded. It has the tag that I created that the idea is now associated with. And it's also got the vote count here. And I can change, I can remove my vote by clicking that. I can downvote it. I can upvote it um, as shown there. Um, on the, in the top here in the ID header section, I, there's a range of different filters, so you can view particular ideas. So I can view ideas by the most popular, the most recent, um, trending ideas, my ideas, or ideas that I've voted on. I can also view ideas by status. So at the moment it's showing the default open status. I can change that to review, to prove, decline, in progress, completed. I can also show ideas by particular tags. So I've got the my test tag that I created there. And I can also search for ideas as well. So I can go my test idea, and that will automatically filter all the ideas from the board and show only relevant results. I can also click on the idea, and that'll take me to the single idea page. And it has um, the same kind of meta information at the top. It has the vote count, the author, when it was published, the comments, the attachment, the tags. Um, you have the main idea description here. Uh, and the, the idea title as well. You can also, um, there, there's also, if you're an admin and you're logged in, it will also display this admin function section here. So here I can change the status of an idea very quickly. So if I want to change it to reviewed, 
I can do that or approved or declined. And you'll see that the status is changing here. I can also edit the idea or delete the idea um, with a click of a button there. Back in the plugin settings, um, there's a couple of more customizations you can make. Obviously, you can change the board settings at any time you want and just click the Save Settings button, but there's a whole bunch of other things you can do. There's a whole bunch of notification settings. So you can enter in your admin notification email here and turn particular emails on or off. Um, the cool thing about the emails is that you can quickly add in a little dynamic shortcode um, text here. So I can click ID title, or the first name, or the last name. And you'll see as I click each one of them, it adds that little sh um, dynamic shortcode um, to the email subject. And the same thing can be done for the email content as well. So I can click in um, any particular tag that I want and I'll add that to the email. Um, it is an HTML email, so you can add an image to it if you want. You can uh, put it into HTML mode if you want. You can do all those things. And as I said, you can turn a whole range of different notifications on or off and change the subject and uh, email content. There's uh, notifications for the admin, notifications for the author of the idea, and there's also um, notifications for when people vote positively for an idea as well. In the statuses um, tab here, you can rename the status um, to a custom status name if you want. So instead of being open, um, you might call this new instead of open. In the design tab, you can change the primary color of all the links and buttons in the plugin with just a click here. I can change it to blue if I want or green or whatever. Um, and in the custom CSS section here, you can add custom CSS. Um, because everyone's WordPress theme is a little bit different, you may need to make a couple of little um, CSS changes to make it suit your website. Um, I've provided a couple of little quick short codes here um, to do some common CSS changes to the plugin. So by clicking that, it'll add that CSS code um, to the little editor there. In the idea form tab, uh, you can change um, the uh, descriptions and um, kind of placeholder text for the form. Uh, that there is editing um, the form. I'll just show you that there. So it's editing this text here, the idea title, add additional details, tags, attach image. It's translating um, the, that text there. You can also enter in a recapture site key. And what that does is put um, Google recapture on your form so that can prevent spam as well. You can also manage existing ideas or even create new ideas from the backend interface, which works just like WordPress post or pages. If I just go to all ideas, it will show me all the ideas um, that have been created so far. It shows the idea title, the author, the board name, the current status of the idea, any tags, and also the vote amount. I can click edit here and I can edit uh, the idea further so I can change the status if I want. I can manually override the vote amount. I can add or remove tags or add or remove the feature image and obviously change the title and description if I wanted to as well. Same thing can be done for tags. It works very similar to post categories in WordPress. I can add a new tag. I can edit, delete, delete or rename existing tags as well. One thing worth noting is that when uh, guests or non-logged in users create ideas on your board, what the plugin actually does is creates a WordPress user for that particular person and gives them, uh, assigns them to a particular uh, WordPress user role as well. So if I go to users and all users and I click ID push guests, this shows all the guest users that have created um, votes or created ideas. I can edit, delete, rename anything I want for them as well.